everybody. Welcome to another, another week of classes. Hope everybody enjoyed their weekend off last week, and it's good to uh, be back with everyone, if only uh, online right now. Let's uh, begin, as we always do, with a quick opening prayer, and then we'll listen to the gospel and have a little reflection for uh, today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we praise you, we thank you for this day. We ask you to open our hearts and our minds and help us to listen to your word, to put it in practice all that you command us, and trust in you always, especially during these uncertain and crazy times we're living through, to recognize that in doing your will, you find all of our happiness and all of our peace. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might attack Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that, he said to them, then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I'm sure everybody knows that uh, in just a few weeks we'll have an election in this country, and uh, I'm sure we've all noticed in the news, as happens every four years, there's tremendous... Uh, Anxiety, animosity, and bitterness on both sides about what's going to happen uh, if this guy wins or that guy wins, Trump or Biden. And um, as always, you know, there's this uh, obsession in our, in our world with politics, like all things political. And uh, this gospel that we just listened to reminds us that this really isn't anything new. You know, for as long as human beings have existed, as long as there's been uh, civilization, there's always been this obsession, this uh, desire for power, for status. And so when these, uh, these Pharisees and their disciples, the Herodians, all of these uh, ancient uh, factions in the, uh, in the time of Jesus go to him, they're trying to uh, get him to take a side, so to speak, to uh, either oppose Caesar, the ruler at the time, or endorse Caesar. And what, what we hear happening is that Jesus really does neither of these things. Rather, he takes the conversation and places it on another level. He tells them, as we heard, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, give to God what belongs to God. You know, give to Caesar the taxes, be obedient to our rulers, our leaders, but don't uh, turn them into gods. You know, recognize that at the end of the day, regardless of who our leaders are, whether we like them or not, whether uh, they come from our preferred political party or not, at the end of the day, as Christians, we have a much greater vocation than simply establishing the kind of society we want here on earth. You know, God calls us to be with him in heaven forever. And this is not uh, about making some political statement. It's not about um, endorsing one candidate over the other, or taking the right side, so to speak, but realizing that at the end of the day, being a Christian means belonging first and foremost to God. You know, Jesus says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. 
right? But at the end of the day, even Caesar belongs to God. You know, everything in this world belongs to our Lord and is on its way back to him in some way or another. We don't, uh, we're not created to be here on earth forever, but ultimately we're created to enjoy eternal life, happiness and peace with our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, one of the reasons why there's so much anxiety in our world, not just about the election, but about the whole coronavirus crisis, the economy, all these things in our world that are so uncertain right now, is that uh, we get caught up sometimes in our desire to create this perfect society here on Earth. We convince ourselves that if just this or that thing were different, if this or that person in our lives were different, then we'd be perfectly happy. But at the end of the day, this is all really a lie. You know, the only thing that really satisfies us, the only thing that really gives us life is to be in communion with our Lord Jesus Christ. To have that relationship, that friendship with Him that uh, sustains us, strengthens us through all things, and enables us to live in that freedom that the world can never take away from us. So as we, as we go through this week and the coming weeks, you know, as uh, the anxiety about the election intensifies as anxiety about so many other things uh, maybe intensifies, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the weeks ahead. Our Lord invites us to recognize that at the end of the day, there's no reason to be discouraged, no reason to feel um, worried or depressed, but to recognize that in all things, He accompanies us, we belong to Him, and He offers us the gift of eternal life. Nothing in this world, no amount of suffering or tragedy or disappointment can ever take that away from us. And so we pray in a special way that our Lord helps us to recognize that today and to receive that gift that He desires to give each and every one of us. Let us all take a moment now to uh, gather our prayers and our intentions into our minds and our hearts and lift them up to our Father, we lift up to you all of these intentions, all those intentions which we hold in our hearts, in the words that your Son himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a great class, everybody. Happy Sunday, and have a great